Humans are social. We all know about virtual assistants from products like Siri and Alexa, but the AI roots of talking with computers goes back to ELISA, a computer science project from MIT in the 1960s. You can try a modern version online, and there are free mobile apps. It was text only, but ELISA could draw people in. YouTube has classic BBC footage of the creator Joseph Weizenbaum describing how much his secretary enjoyed using the program. In modern terms, we can categorize ELISA with these keywords. It interacts with users, getting keyboard input and returning sentences on a screen. And its goal? That's where things get interesting. How do you measure a goal? Weizenbaum's secretary asked him to leave the room so she could be alone with the computer, although she knew the program had no kind of understanding. Technically, Eliza is a simple reflex agent. It responds to sentences one at a time without remembering or caring about the past. So Eliza can look like it has some goal, but it doesn't. How about these people? They too look like they have goals, but Perhaps they don't. Take a close look. How could you be sure? It's an intellectual puzzle that quickly leads to questions like philosophical zombies. Beings that are identical to a normal person but don't have conscious experience. In AI, the barriers to knowing an agent's actual goals are often sidestepped by using performance measures that are applied externally. Good or bad performance can be decided by objectively observing without having to second guess about inner states. ELISA was a very early AI message that our own programming can easily be triggered when interactions have social content. The challenges of understanding agents, human and computer, are only likely to continue in the future that is fast arriving.